This is a distilling process, and you, this is how I make hydrosols. What you do is collect herb. This happens to be thyme. That is a gallon glass jar, and I used half of it to fill up this column. In the bottom half, you put distilled water, and that travels up through the herbs and with steam process, and the steam goes through these pipes down into here, which is called the condenser, and I add a lot of ice to the mix because I don't have dry ice, so I fill up my salt tins and as many trays as I have, and I fill this bucket up with water and ice. There's still some ice in there. When that ice is gone, this process will be over. And basically this hydrosol, this was the first amount that came out. And you see how cloudy it is in comparison to this one. It just has more essential oil. The, when you do this distilling process, the essence of the plant, the essential oil, actually gets dispersed throughout. Do you see this? There will be a slight oil on top, which is an essential oil, and you can see it on top there if you look closely, that very thin layer, but it also is distributed throughout the product, unlike just having an essential oil at the top of water like most products have. So why a hydrosol is good, you can use this in any beauty product that you make to, that, like a cream or a facial product or a soap to use as the water, which the essential oil is distilled and turned into some medicinal uses like and this is, this is thyme, so thyme is antifungal. Um, it will give you like glowing skin because it's um, an anti-inflammatory, reduces eczema. Um, what else does thyme do? Thyme is good for gas, it's packed with vitamin C and um, the, what you're seeing right here, this is called thymol. It's the active ingredient in it, and it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and it's antimicrobial. So it kills parasites and um, things like that in the digestive tract. You can give it to your animals. You can ingest this. That's what's so great about hydrosols. They can be ingested. They're like a medicinal um, because this is an actual alchemy process it's going through right now. It is changing from water to herb, water through herb into this hydrosol. If you see how it has an osmosis, it's actually incorporated with the water at these points. Like, oh, you could see the top oil of this one. Beautiful. That's that is the essential oil of the hydrosol. And it's mixed throughout. And like I said, the active ingredient of thyme is thymol. thymol. <laughs> and um, you'll get th that throughout this product. It is so mild that you could give it to your animals, your dogs, your cats. And like I said before, it is uh, anti-parasitic because um, it's antimicrobial, so um, it's good for that. And it's, it heals sores, wounds, scars, cuts, relieves burns. It's good for rashes, so you'd want to put it into this, th not all hydrosols, this thyme, this herb, because there are thousands of herbs and plants for hydrosols. It's just this particular one I'm doing today is called thyme. And these are the benefits of thyme. And um, if you put it into, like I said before, any of your beauty products, you get that benefit. So it could just be a face wash, a mask. You could 
use it as a toner. You can use it in for your hair, and it will help your hair grow. It will help with any itch. It will help to heal. It's high in vitamin A, and that's where the skin, um, it, like the skin glow, comes from. It's like an anti-aging, and um, vitamin A is the reason for that. Plus the antimicrobial. So this is how you um, make hydrosols, and I just want to share that with you in case anybody was interested in hydrosols. I'll, I'll be sharing them with, ooh, it's time to go. Okay, you see it's filled <laughs> to the top. I got to move it around.